and our border watch this morning. We're still following the effects of closing key land ports and crossings like Lukeville and the Morley Port in Nogales. This week, I talked to Senator Mark Kelly and asked him if the Senate can pass any kind of border reform in 2024. He told me he's still negotiating with his Republican colleagues and the president. Nothing is set in stone yet, but Kelly says any progress on this could prevent ports like Lukeville from being shut down again. For all these years, it feels like we've been stuck. Is there any sense in, in sort of a motivation or momentum to understand this is a problem? The NGOs don't have the resources to handle migrants. They assist Border Patrol in moving people north. We're trying to get them more money. Uh, they need more resources. Border Patrol needs more resources. So the president proposed, you know, a, a, a supplemental bill that had um, funding in there for Border Patrol agents, asylum officers, some really positive things. I really feel for the Border Patrol agents. You know, they got such a tough job. We need a system that uh, you know, treats people fairly in accordance with our ethics and morals, but also works, you know, works for our country. Is there anything logistical in these discussions you feel like can make their job easier? There are some changes that uh, I think Border Patrol will um, be, you know, look at favorable and make it easier for them to do their job. Should it be to Arizonans a surprise to hear that this is bipartisan agreement on on A, getting to the solution, and B, you all negotiating that there's actual things we agree we can do to solve this? There is always room uh, for us to work together to solve the country's problems. This is an area that's been historically challenging, but we are making progress. Uh, you know, I'm not ready to, to to say that this is a done deal, but I do feel pretty positive that we're going to have something that's going to have uh, provide with, uh, you know, more personnel, um, more authorities, uh, not only for the president, for, for for Border Patrol to manage this crisis, more resources uh, for these nonprofits that are assisting down at the southern border. And it'll get us back to the point where we can manage um, this migration crisis, which, by the way, is not just here in the United States. It's a worldwide issue. Now, Kelly's colleague, Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema, has also been critical of the decision to close ports of entry like Lukeville. And she agrees with Kelly in saying their peers in Congress need to act and find a long term solution. Cinema and Kelly wrote a joint statement after learning Lukeville would reopen, saying in part, while reopening these border crossings is critical, it doesn't solve our broken border and immigration system. The longer Congress and the administration fail to adequately respond, the more we risk future closures and disruptions. We're working to sit down to talk to Senator Cinema and share her perspective on those negotiations in Congress.